In the pickle world, the big names are Peter Piper and Dr. Ron Busher. You know the first name, he picked a peck of pickled peppers. But the real life Busher with his PhD in pickles, well he made that peck that Peter picked taste good. The longtime chair of the School of Food Science at the U of A died recently, but his colleagues are here to sing his praises for a legacy of good and useful science that lives on in the latest food trends. Nobody likes a soggy pickle, right? You want it, you want it to be crisp and crunchy. Ah, the bane of Madison Avenue pitchmen and deli shop owners, selling the briny pickle. The answer to this cucumber quandary came from this lab and from a man named Dr. Ron Busher. I mean, he was just the best of the best. He improved the color, flavor, and texture of pickle products. For decades, Busher worked alongside fellow professors like Luke Howard and J.F. Moulinet at the Arkansas Food Innovation Center in Fayetteville, part of the U of A School of Agriculture. This is where Busher took his vast knowledge of chemistry and applied it to an industry and became Arkansas's pickle man. There's an enzyme that causes the, the pickles to soften and by strengthening that cell wall complex, you also are much more resistant to softening from that enzyme. So the ultimate result was much uh, crunchier pickles. Busher went from studying how and why crops spoiled to helping a pickle company in Atkins, Arkansas, and it launched an entire field examining fermentation, the process that gives us booze and other good things in our diets, and gave a cartoon stork a tagline. Now that's the best tasting pickle I ever heard. He actually developed this uh, mechanical device to crunch uh, pickles and actually measure sounds as they were crushed by this machine. Historically, this would have been a pickling cellar. So the walls would have come out to here. And this is where we would have um, basically uh, done um, pickling fermentations or vegetable fermentations. 